Hello everyone, so welcome to another Python tutorial series. In this video, I'm going to talk about Yersna Engine, 3D Python game engine, and this is going to be tutorial number 5, adding camera to the scene. So let's add in our starter code. We want to use the Yersna module, so we can write from Yersna, import star, app is equal to Yersna, app.run, and in between here, I'm going to create a new entity, so I'm going to create a cube, cube is equal to entity, model is equal to cube. I'm going to add in another parameter. This is going to be for the color. Color is equal to color dot, and then whatever color you'd like. I'm going to change this to red. And now I'm going to set the scale to 1, 2, 5. And if I run this, this should give us a red cuboid at the center of our window. And when we look at it, it looks like there's a camera placed in front of the cube. The camera is an entity which is a uh, part of the scene and it has a variable reference called camera. As an entity, the camera can be moved using its position and rotation. So let's uh, change the camera's position. So we can write camera.position and we'll set this to a new position 0, 0, negative 20. And by default, the camera is pointing to the center of the scene which is in the coordinates 0, 0, 0. And now if we add a camera with a position of 0, 0, negative 20, the cube basically looks the same. But what if we change this to, instead of negative 20, negative 10? So when we change the Z position from negative 20 to negative 10, uh, that is when we move the camera closer to the cube. And understandably, this makes the cube look larger. And now, let's say it changes to negative 40. Now, when we change the Z position to negative 40, we move the camera further away from the cube. And this makes the cube look smaller. And how about I change this to negative uh, 3, 0, negative 40. So I'm changing the X position to negative 3. And I basically just move the camera to the left. And see, it's more clear that this is a cuboid and not just a 2D rectangle. And I'll actually change this to 20, negative 20, to make it look even clearer. There you go. Now it looks more like a cuboid instead of a 2D rectangle. And let's see how the cuboid will look if we just move the camera's position between two points. So let's create an update function. Define update. And I'm going to create two global variables, so global x and speed, and underneath where I create this uh, set the camera position, or actually, I will remove this camera dot position, and just write x is 0, speed is 1. And x is going to be the camera's position in the x coordinate, and speed is going to be speed of the camera. Speed. Okay. And every single time this update function is called, I will set x equal to the previous x value plus time by dt multiplied by speed. And now I'm going to add in an if statement that basically checks for the boundary for boundaries. Yeah, and this boundary is going to be where the camera is moving between. So if the absolute value of x is less than three, I will set speed equal to the previous speed value multiplied by negative one. And so what this does is that if the camera reaches 3 on the boundary, so if it moves right and reaches the x coordinate of 3, it will move, start moving left. And the same thing if it moves left, reaches the x coordinate of negative 3, then it will turn around and move right. And now I want to set the camera position equal to x0, negative 20. So I will save this and run. Oops, let's see what happened. That's not supposed to happen. Uh, global speed. X is equal to the previous X plus time at DT multiplied by speed. If the absolute value of X is greater than 3. Yep. And there you go. We have, uh, instead of the cube that's moving, we have the camera that is moving. And here it looks like the cube is moving. But actually, it's our perspective that makes it look like the cube's moving. 
All right, great. So I'm going to remove this if statement for now, or this uh, update function for now. Remove this, and I'm going to uh, change the camera position to zero, zero, twenty. And now, if we put the camera in the positive Z direction, let's say twenty, you know, I just changed it to twenty, then we basically see nothing. And this is because the camera is back against the cuboid. And how can we see the cuboid if we put the camera in this position? Well, we can just rotate the camera. So camera dot rotation underscore y is equal to 180. And now I just rotate the camera 180 degrees around the y axis. And now I'm able to basically see the uh, cuboid. And let's create an update function. So I'm going to remove this. I'm going to create the update function again. So define update uh, cube.x. And in this update function, I'm just going to move the cube to the right is equal to the previous cube.x value plus time.dt. And if I run this, you'll see that the cube is just moving to the right. And it eventually disappears out of the window. And if we add in our camera, camera movement, so let's say camera.position, we can set this position equal to cube.x, 0, negative 20. And when we do this, we make the camera follow the cuboid at the same speed. And then it will appear like the cuboid is not moving. So here it looks like the cube is just staying still. But in reality, this is moving to the right as well as the camera. The camera is just following the cuboid. All right, so let's add in our second cube. Cube two is equal to entity, entity, oops, entity. The model is going to be equal to a cube. Uh, we're setting the scale equal to uh, one, two, five. And we'll set the position equal to zero, negative two, zero. And we don't need to add a color parameter, so that means that the color on default is going to be white. Oops. Let's run this. And now we see that, well, we have a left cube that looks like it's moving to the left. But in reality, we know that the red cube is moving to the uh, right, and the left cube is staying still. And so let me replay this again. And so this uh, illusion makes it look like that the white cube is moving to the left, but uh, and the and the red cube is staying still. But we know that the red cube is moving to the right because the camera is following the red cube. That's why. So let's go into our previous project uh, from our last video, and this was just a solar system. And let me, uh, run this real quick, and we see that we have a solar system with planets orbiting around the sun. So let's add in another piece of code, camera.rotation, this rotation, and I'm changing the rotation of this camera on the z-axis by 45 degrees. And if I run this, all I do is change the rotation of this camera, and now, the, uh, now it just looks like that it's tilted to the side. And now let's even change this to 90 degrees. Now we see, or now we should see, Yep, we have a vertical solar system, so the planets are orbiting around the sun vertically. And let me change this instead. Rotation, or let me change the camera's put position. So position is equal to 0, 25, 0. Um, camera dot rotation underscore x is equal to 90. So let me close this run again. And now we'll see that we should have a top view of our animation. So we set the camera position to 0, 25, 0, and the rotation to 90 around the x-axis. And we can uh, see that simply by changing the camera position and rotation, the solar system animation can have many different looks. Alright, so this is, this is the end of this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.